Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have another Silhouette Cameo 3 in Stampin' Up! Marriage of the paper crafting world. And um, as you can see here, I've got a piece of old olive that I had used this file on the French fry box. Um, um, my Silhouette Cameo 3 and it's super easy to use. The cardstock from Stampin' Up! goes beautifully uh, off the mat when you pull it up. And I've got all the perforations I need. If you have the Stampin' Up! die that they sold before, um, or somebody else's die in a French fry box, just go ahead and use that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's super easy to use um, and to download and print out. And I didn't change any of the dimensions on this. In other words, I didn't make it smaller or bigger. So just printed it as it was. And then you can also print out all the parts. So... Um, these are all the little parts, and I did that in two printings, okay? So, um, you know, you simply uh, group and ungroup. And if anybody wants a video about grouping and ungrouping, uh, I might be doing one because I feel like I had to figure that out on my own. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, maybe maybe I'll do one of those. Maybe that'll be helpful to any of you. Let me know in the comments. But um, anyway, so... I did the little decorative parts in the beautiful Halloween paper. I used the little pumpkins because it's fall, and I loved the fact that even though there's no old olive in here, I really liked the gray and the orange and the white and the um, old olive together, and I just like how it popped out. So, um, okay, so we're just going to go along the perforations here, and I'm not going to apply adhesive yet uh, because I feel like it's, it's easier to put the little papers on before you do the adhesive. But I am going to sort of manipulate, especially this curved part here, that becomes the base of our um, fry box. I actually want some McDonald's french fries, huh? <laughs> it's like the only good thing at McDonald's. <laughs> well, I don't know. In my opinion, anyway. <laughs> Whatever. They do have the best french fries, though. Um, anyway, alright. So that's that. And so you can see how it's going to come together like that. So this area right here is going to be our largest panel and that's going to fit there. So I'm going to, all right. So we're going to go ahead and line up that curved part there. Just like so. You need the bone folder to kind of get that nice and solid. And then, um, this little part here, okay, is going to go on the outside. So we want to flip this over like this. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere that to there as well. So we want to go ahead and make sure we leave a little rim green. Right? Alright, so here's where we're at. We have our piece on the back, we have, and we have it set up like this. So one there, one there, and one there, so that when we bring them together, we will see all the parts and so I'll show that to you. So we want to put adhesive, um, I guess we're going to go ahead and put it on these. Um, adhesive side in and make sure we're lining that up really well on the outside so it looks nice. Give that a really good squeeze. Okay, and then on the other side as well, and we also want this to be popped in like that, rather than, um, so we want that uh, curvature going inward. And lining that up nice and neatly, because it's very sticky tape, so once we do it, <laughs> we've done it, you know what I mean. Okay, so now we have our super cute French bread box, isn't that cute? And then I thought I had some pumpkin pie scraps, so I went ahead, I had a Spellbinders um, die, 
this is a mixture of things. <laughs> I had a Spellbinders flower die that I used um, to cut these out, and you get all of these in one die set. So I went ahead and used that. Um, and then I took, let's see, I've got the stamp set flower patch here, and I have the matching dies to this. Botanical flower flower fair, I think is what it's called. And um, I, from there, with a little bit of light gray to go with uh, that paper matching uh, innard, uh, innards there of the um, flower innards. <laughs> so, <laughs> carnivorous. Um, the, you know what I mean by that. The words aren't coming. So <laughs> I don't know where they went. All right. Um, I know they all went into my latest short story that I'm writing. I've been furiously making revisions. Okay, so we've got our old olive here, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Move this aside for a second. And I'm just going to stamp inside of our little thing there, and just want to line that up. It's nice with the photopolymer. You can do just that. Okay. And then, um... So we're just going to go ahead and do this. That way you can see the gray there, but it also has that nice leafy green uh, look about it. Which is always good in the leaf. <laughs> and then I have a video on making these little daubers, which I have to finish making that. I just did that yesterday. We're getting ready to go on vacation and I'm trying to <laughs> pre-tape a lot of things here. So, okay. Um... So that's that. And then for our flower, we are going to go ahead and stack these. And I thought they would look really cute in the back here like this with our little leaves coming out. All right, so I'm going to fish through my little brads here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this sort of coppery one that I think will look really cool with that. And then stack up as many flowers as you want. You can Alright, just to give them a little dimension. Simply stack them up um, with the little holes that they already have pre-cut. Uh, if you didn't have a die with a hole in the middle, you simply you just use your paper piercer and pierce that through. And then you can just stick your brad through like so. And um, encase those. And then you can uh, fluff that up however you want. You can use a pencil to kind of shape them. The cardstock's nice and sturdy, so you can kind of um, play with that a little bit. Um, and if you really wanted a tattered look, you could spray them with water first and wrinkle them all up and then pull them back apart and you'll have a sort of shabby chic, wrinkly flower effect. But I think I'm going to go for that. And you can see by sponging the edges how it just gives it a 3D sort of look that adds to that. So um, we're going to go ahead and start attaching um, these to the back. Now depending on what you're putting in your box, maybe it's going to cover most of this, and maybe you want to put your flower on the front, but, um, you know, either way, whatever, float your boat. Uh, <laughs> float that boat. Okay, so, mini glue dot. And where art thou? All right. So, we're going to kind of hold that there. I want it to kind of really stick up a little bit, like so. Alright, just putting it right on the back there. And then just kind of look where you want that. And dimensional. Look at that, it's so fun! And we have from, this is an older one, it was a celebration, um, which will be coming up in January. Um, but this is the celebration botanicals for you, and I'm going to just put because you're so nice. And, um, yeah, I'm going to stamp that. Okay. 
And then you can just put a little bit of glue overage there, just on the front there, because you're so nice. And then you can fill it with little treats. And it's very pretty, and still in fall, and pumpkins, and just the sponging adds a special touch. And I think, you know, when you give this to somebody stuffed with some chocolates or some whatever, and you can put some a little packaging down in there and like shred up some scrapbook thin paper or use whatever. Um, I don't know, it just looks like like you thought about them and spent time on them, and it's just so cute, and I love the colors. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. All right, guys, thanks so much. If you uh, like that, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Yay for Stampin' Up! and Silhouette Cameo 3, right? Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Lots of fun projects and DIYs and tips and tricks. And go visit my website at CynthiaMaynard.com. We worked really hard on that, and it turned out so pretty. So go check that out. Um, and thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.